What is going on guys? Ben here bringing you another Pokemon Go video once again This apartment complex does not fail like I stated in many other videos Usually when I leave I go drive out here and then check my sightings um, And usually starters spawn here, but today we have an Ivysaur. So that's pretty beast um, Honestly, I was not expecting that because like usually it's Squirtles here and there will be a Bulbasaur, but not an Ivysaur. That's crazy. So maybe with that update, um, that's what changed it. And we got a freaking Ivysaur. We did Raspberry already, I think. I think I did. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, guys, I didn't take a shower yet. Uh, I got to do that after. Hopefully it doesn't flee. Yesterday's video was crazy with all the catchings and stuff like that. Oh, my God. Lake Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin is ridiculous. So see if we can catch this Ivysaur. It's only 400, but still. An Ivysaur is an Ivysaur. Um, yeah, I still have to take a shower, though. Uh, make my videos and then I'm gonna head to Nina today and see if we can catch anything good there So but first we got a first priority here is catch this freaking Ivysaur man. Okay stay in the ball Stay in the ball Stay in the ball. There we go. We got the Ivysaur. We switched to the great balls didn't work switch back to the ultra balls We caught it. Um, I'm on my way to another but oh this one no solar beam uh, it's okay because it usually forgets the moves, but I'm not going to be evolving this one just for the candies. But not bad, we got an Ivysaur first catch of the day. Alright guys, so uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but these apartments, like I stated in many other videos, always spawn starters. Uh, let me turn down my phone here, but I want to say, like, this, the video that you guys watched yesterday of me at Milwaukee, or Lake Park in Milwaukee, literally, I'm still editing it, um, and I just had my... I had my phone open and I saw another Squirtle over here, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna take a break, drive over here, try and catch it. Because usually when I'm editing, I have my Pokemon Go open and I usually run incense because I don't mind spending the money for the incenses or whatever, because with how incenses work now, they spawn, they have a chance to spawn like really good Pokemon, so I don't want to miss out. Um, but yeah, I just had it on my radar, a Squirtle, so we caught the Squirtle and a Bulbasaur within a couple hours here at this apartment complex that always spawns good stuff. It's like, come on, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I have been, that video has took incredibly long to edit because I've, I've running into issues with my editing software. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right guys, so yesterday actually did not pan out. Um, I ended up just staying home the whole day and uh, basically didn't make it to Nina, but I still had those two catches in the morning and I just took a shower, got out of the shower, and there was a war turtle chilling in my house, um, and I have Carlo's account on my old iPhone, so you can see the two phones right here of my, I'll move this stuff up here, we've got my iPhone 6 right here that I used to use, now I have my S7 that I have here, um, and since Carlo works 9 to 5 throughout the day, um, where's Pokemon? I have her account on this one in case anything like good spawns or I need to like throw on my hot spot so she doesn't miss out, but we'll, we'll watch the iPhone here. So you can see it's loading up. You can see my war total right there. We're on Carlos right now. And then it should pop up. That's on our nearby list. There it is. There's the war turtle. Not bad. So I'm gonna catch her war turtle. Her AR is not on. It's only a 228 for hers, but mine's a 1187. So I'm gonna set this down right here. So honestly, guys, since the update, it for sure seems as though. Like the rare spawns are definitely more often. Um, so I'm gonna try and catch Carlos as well. But yeah, this is what I actually started doing. Like, since a lot of times when I go pokey hunting, she's not able to be with me. Um, we just decided to sign her in on my my uh, iPhone account. Or no, not my iPhone account, just my iPhone that doesn't have a SIM card in it. Um, and if I need to, I can throw in a hotspot um, on my S7 and just use the Wi Fi there and catch it. But it's pretty crazy that just spawned literally in the house. Like, come on, come on War Turtle. You can see we caught Carlos here. Not bad, mine keeps breaking out. Hopefully it doesn't flee me. Uh, I might switch to a Great Ball, um, cause I'm pretty low on Ultra Balls. And I want that in case something like really, really good spawns, like hopefully like a Dragonite or something. Come on. All right, we caught him. So we got two War Turtles. Um, I'm gonna be finishing up my work for making videos and stuff like that and then for sure today I'm gonna head to Nina um, So hopefully you catch some good stuff guys. All right guys So right after I cut that war turtle as you can see we got another Bulbasaur It literally showed up on my nearby list and I'm gonna show you the map around my the apartments So like you can see how it's just like this big loop um, It's basically over there. We're actually gonna catch the Bulbasaur How's it going, Mike? That's, that was actually apartment manager. He's probably like, what the hell has Ben doing? But I'll show you guys the map 
Um, I'm actually gonna back out here. Yeah, I'll show you guys the map. I just wasted a raspberry, but like they literally spawn. If I can walk around the circle, they sometimes spawn there. And then if you see that road over there where that lake is, kind of in the middle, that's the other apartment complex where they also spawn a lot. So that's why I usually take a drive over there, drive around there. Or if I see them on my nearby list around here, I just walk around the apartments and find them. But we got the we got the Bulbasaur for me. I'm gonna have to walk a little bit further because I actually have it on Carla's phone as well. But we'll see what we can do here. Let's see if we can take it. Got the Ultra Ball. All Ultra Ball starter because I don't want it to escape, honestly. Um, and I'm actually having to use my hotspot, like I stated earlier. But that's crazy, guys. A War Turtle and a Bulbasaur. Right in this early in the day, too. And I don't even left my house yet. So that's, that's, a good, that's a good sign. It should be a good day. All right, guys. So I'm at the apartments across the thingy, as you can see. And this is typically where the first little spot. right there that was a Toro so it's really nice is that um, even though I'm on that side where I live if I open up my game I can see all the nearby even on this side because it's such a small circle um, so it's another Toro but this is probably gonna be the last Pokemon catching around my house today I'm not gonna lie guys since like the update came out where the spawn changes I cannot be the only one let me know if you guys are also getting like better spawns um, because if you guys don't know what the update was <clears throat> basically rare stuff spawns now uh, more frequently because a lot of players were complaining basically only seeing Rotatas and Pidgeys so caught the Toro though, of Toros and I'm already uh, like back to my side of the apartments basically as you can see so that's really nice living there I can see if anything rare spawns alright guys so this is a little bit ridiculous um, right after literally right after I caught that first Toro another Toro spawned um, it was straight up on my radar like as soon as I hit out there like, like a little bit further down but it's on the radar so I just walked around for a little bit it's crazy so definitely the update is true I can probably like confirm it now because they said regional exclusives spawn more um, rare Pokemon spawn I just mentioned that but it's pretty crazy so let's see if we can catch this here I'm gonna make a trip to Europe uh, just to be like yo I can get a Mr. Mine but there we go got the Toro with a great ball that's not bad. Now we're just gonna walk back to, back to my side of the apartment. It's like literally, I'll show you the map. I already, I already showed this last clip, but you can see it on one side, and now I'm already back on my side. So I, I, I should consider myself lucky to have good Pokemon spawning like right where I live. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. So we just got a Charmeleon here. We just got to Nina. Already off to a good start. It's pretty busy, but. It's, or it's not very busy right now because it's like 4 o'clock, but still, this is my first Pokemon that I actually caught here because I literally just caught here and I got a decent parking spot and parked here. Um, so it's been, what, Ivysaur, Wartortle, Squirtle, all in the beginning of the video and a lot of Tauruses, so this is crazy, crazy for the video guys. All the like second evolution of the starters, if I can catch this one, and we got them. Um, so this is why we come to Riverside. Um, in Nina, Wisconsin, guys. It's crazy, but I just got here. I'm probably gonna start streaming on Mob Crush, but honestly, not bad for just getting right, just getting here. So we're chilling in the car here, and an Omnistar just spawned. Oh, that's pretty crazy. I've got a bunch of Omnimites from here, but never an Omnistar. Minus CP 1051. Uh, so we'll see if we can catch this with some Ultra Balls. I'm just about to start streaming on Mob Crush here um, from my phone. Um, if you guys don't know what Mob Crush is, basically, it's a a site where I can stream um, from my phone and whatnot, and I'm gonna be playing Pokemon Go. So see if we can catch this with a Great Ball. I doubt. Oh, it fled me! The the fled me. But hey, we still have it on Carlos' phone here to catch. Um, like I stated earlier, since she's at work, I, I had her log into my iPhone 6, and then since this one isn't like an actual phone anymore, it can only work on Wi-Fi. I have a hotspot on my phone. I'm using her Ultra Balls, so we'll see. We'll see if we can get it though. But yeah, so I just use my hotspot, and then I can use this iPhone to catch her any good thing that spawns. So there we go, though. Caught one almost star. Sadly, mine fled, but Carla got it, and that's actually a new registered your Pokedex, so she's gonna be happy with that. But guys, Charmeleon and Omnistar within the I've been here for like a half an hour, and I'm gonna start streaming though. Um, it's Mop Crush, it'll be in the description below, and I'll probably still do stuff with like that. But yeah, guys, I'm pumped for that, man. That's sweet. All right, and then like two seconds later, as soon as I stopped recording, a Dratini pops up. Uh, I'm excited for that because honestly, 
Like, I really, really want to evolve another dragon, and I already have one, um, so it's going to be a long grind to get another one. And I'm actually going to save my Ultra Balls. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the butt. I only have 12. I have a crap ton of Great Balls, though. Um, trying to catch it on both phones here. We'll see if we can get it for Carla's as well. Hers is only CP100, and mine is CP602. Um, when we were at um, Lake Park in Milwaukee, though, Basically, I caught CP700 ones, but it was crazy, so this one's a little bit not as high CP. Hopefully, it has a good IV, though. Hopefully, we can catch it with this great ball. Come on, stay in the ball. Yes, we got it. Okay, so two good back-to-back -back, back -back spawns. Probably going to start streaming here, though. All right, guys, so after walking for a little bit, I got my eggs hatching here. Um, we'll see what we can get. I kind of walked over to these other lures I'll show you. Oh, we got a Clefair. I have a bunch of two-kilometer eggs. Hopefully, we can get some starters. I think I have six. So nothing good spawned there, but yeah, I, I already hatched one, it was a Pidgey, and then I started recording, it was a Clefairy, so we got a Pidgey, Clefairy, Squirtle, let's go, hopefully this thing has a good IV, because it's from NFYCP, 567, it's not terrible, um, hopefully it has a decent IV though, um, so that's, I'll take that, if I don't get any other starter from, uh, from the eggs, I'm fine with that, because honestly, they seem really, really rare from 2k eggs, got another Pidgey, probably have one, I don't even know how many eggs I have left, honestly, probably one or two more. But I'm really close to some 10k eggs. Probably gonna go walk around, try and get them. See, got a Rattata. I think that's probably the last one. All right, guys, a freaking dragon air just spawned. Let's go. This thing's hopefully a beast. Um, I'm gonna go and Carlos out. 1,341. Oh my goodness, dude. That thing is a monster. If I do not catch this, I'm gonna be so sad. So so sad. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, uh, Ultra Ball. Oh, I missed my Ultra Ball. I cannot miss these Ultra Balls. I only have 17 of them left. Throw it a little better. We got a nice toss. It still isn't popping up on Carlos for whatever reason, but maybe it'll pop up soon. Spin the, spin the lures. Okay, it should pop up now. The Dragonair broke free. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, got it on Carlos there. And a Pikachu spawned. I just saw it on Carlos, so. Okay. Guys, I need to calm down and relax. I'm so pumped for this. Oh, and a tail whipped me, okay. We didn't get any kind of... So Carlos is 1,245. So hers is still a beast as well. See if it'll focus. Right there, well, it's backwards, but... Oh my goodness, guys. We're gonna have to raspberry this. The last Dragonair that I had in the chance to catch, what it did was eat all of my Ultra Balls and all of my raspberries. And it fled me then. So hopefully we can catch it. I got an excellent toss with Carlos. Why can't I get an excellent toss with mine? It's fleeing me, guys. I'm feeling it. Hopefully it doesn't, though. So, oh my goodness. Let's go. We caught it on mine. Let's go. I know now, now the real test is to catch it on Carlos. See, we can get it. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Oh my gosh. I feel so sad wasting all of Carlos' Ultra Balls because knowing her, she'd probably just try and great ball it. We got a great toss this time. See if we can catch it. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Let's go. Two Dragonairs. Caught Carlos. Caught mine. She's going to be so pumped about that. I'm pumped about it. All right, guys. So we have a pretty beast Machamp here. It, or Machop, I should say. It is... 792. This would definitely be my strongest Machop. I'm still pumped with that Dragon there. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. I thought it was gonna flee me. I had that little feeling, but we actually caught it. It's a beast Machop. Um, let's see his stats and stuff. Hopefully it has a decent IV, but 792 is not bad. Let's check what spawned. Got another Magikarp, but yeah, guys. Beast Machop and a Dragon there. Let's go. So it calmed down a little bit since the last um, good spawn, which was that Dragon Air. Uh, but we still got a Squirtle here. Um, honestly, I have so many Squirtle candies, but that's fine. Uh, I can evolve already a pretty beast Dra uh, not Dragonite, but the pretty beast War Turtle that I caught earlier today into a Blastoise. So I'm pretty excited for that. I'll, you'll probably see that in tomorrow's video or, no, or the video after this. I don't even know. It depends. But uh, hopefully the Squirtle doesn't flee me. It's 615, and we hatched a Squirtle egg as well. So we're getting a bunch of Squirtle candies today. In which kind of, it does suck, but I can't complain because Squirtle is still a beast. But, but what I mean by that is like, it kind of sucks because I see a lot less um, Bulbasaur's and Charmander's. I rarely ever see a Charmander's. 
and I rarely ever see um, Bulbasaurs, but either way, it's still fine. Like, I, I see probably Squirtles you, probably three times more or even, like, four times as much as I see the other ones because I'm already, I can already evolve my second Blastoise, and I've only evolved one Venusaur. I haven't even evolved the Charizard yet. I only, I caught my one Charizard from the wild, um, and I'm pretty, I can probably get another, another Blastoise, like the third one, pretty soon here. So, yeah, Squirtles are definitely the most common for me, but that's the, the most decent Pokemon that spawned here since the Dragonair. Um, but guys, probably gonna head out soon. I'm gonna try and get these eggs hatching. Um, I got a bunch of new eggs. Usually I wait to incubate all of them so I can hatch them all in one go, but I'm close to these two 10k eggs, so I might try and get those hatching before I leave though. So probably gonna go walk around for a little bit. All right guys, and if not a second later, literally, I, I didn't think that, okay. Okay, I'm losing my words right now. So basically, um, right after I shot off the camera from that Squirtle, a Magmar spawned, and then, Right as I was re like getting ready to record this little segment here, the Dratini popped up. You guys saw that quick, so I'm pumped. But since the Magmar spawned first, um, I have less time to catch it. So hopefully it doesn't swat away all my uh, great balls like it kept doing. So I'm actually gonna try and get uh, the Dratini for Carlos' phone or Carlos' game here. So nice, you got the Magmar. Oh, it only took a couple balls, and that Dratini though popped up as soon as I was gonna record this clip. Like I was just gonna record the Magmar clip. And then we got that Dratini popping up right there. Sweet. That's so many Dratinis today. That's like, what, on CP12? So that's that's actually decent, but I'm still going to Raspberry Grape Ball it. Um, we'll see what Carla's is. Hopefully it's something uh, a little decent. We're going to actually go boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to go like this. All right, so we raspberry it. We're going to try and get it with the Grape Ball. Nice. So it's CP12. I mean, that's it's not bad. I, I don't really care because it's candies. It gets me close to that Dragonite as long as it doesn't flee me. So, back up here, it's backwards, but hers is 1,523, we'll, we'll try and raspberry grape all that. See what we get, we got a pincer. Alright, we got it to focus there. Oh yeah, we have one more 10 kilometer egg, hopefully we get an aerodactyl, hopefully we get something good out of here, um, because my 10k eggs I've been getting are pretty crappy. Come on! Yes! Yes, dude! Let's go! We needed that one! We got that registered to the Pokedex. The Aerodactyl. That's how we do. It knows Steeling and Hyper Beam. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, I literally only need a Weezing to complete my Pokedex because I can evolve my Kabudops. Um, so we'll see it right here. Have 140 out of 141. I'm so pumped for that. I was so scared it was going to be something terrible. I'm going to walk back to my apartment. Let's get it. Yeah, like I said though, I haven't evolved my Kabutops yet. That's why it only said um, 140 um, caught, but I just need a wheezing. And then we got it. Let's go, dude. But well, that's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. You can barely see me, I know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Pokemon Go videos. It was a wonderful day night, and I'll see you guys later.